，我们这边打完幺二零，我们打幺二零啊，对。还有个啊，还有是重症患者我们不收，生活不能自理了我们也不收，走路走不了了，生活不能自理，这这不是医院，这只是个隔离点，措施没有任何人对负责，我们也担不起这个责任。这只是隔了一点啊，跟大家说强调过很多遍，这不是医院。你来了就只能在里面安心一乐，进行隔离，而且不能出来。那我如果说老，如果说我妈妈要打针怎么办呢？那也那也解决不了，因为我们这没有任何一些救助设备，所以你这点你是要考虑清楚。啊，我吃完了，要吃完只能委托家属。给里面的护士、医生联系来送。哎，他就他就是发的医疗，医疗可以保障，这个可以保障，你这搞的医疗或者搞的那保障。这没，这不是医院的。哎，这是先的，是吧？这不，这是我们我们接到通知。是全部先的。这这这你已经去，你先的。我们我只是负责我这个点位，明白不？啊，大叔，就说我们这里面，我跟你讲清楚，不要到时候你没有说这个打一针那针，这里面没有。医务人员是有高的，但是他一些设备都没有，知道吧？那些救护车设备啊。对，现在你现在你现在来，你把你七分的设备。对，最主要最主要一点就是说，这里你进来了就不要再出来了，避免进行一些交叉感染。家属也是一样的，不要进来，他就是个隔离点。如果说接受不了的话，你们这边就可以回家自行进入。都是发了个发感染，他他他就是有心理的，不是吗？来来来，第二个，第二个，第二个，第二个，别的。Hello everyone, welcome to New On Realist. That man that you just saw is the,、uh, I guess he's the director, or at least he claims to be in charge of one of the new Fangkang hospitals in Wuhan. Now, one of the new shake and bake hospitals that they create by converting, say, a sports stadium, a hotel, or a convention center into a quote-unquote hospital. They call them Fangkang hospitals. It means like, I I believe the translation in Chinese is something to the effect of field hospital. But as you can see there, the man running the place, to his credit, is letting the people outside know up front, this is not a hospital. People, <laughs> they can call it a hospital. It's not what it is. If you're really sick, if you can't walk or take care of yourself, you can't come in there. They have no medical equipment. There's no treatment available there. There's no medicine, and between you and me, I think people need to realize that they probably don't have doctors and nurses even, because you could build a thousand hospitals if you know in in a week in Wuhan if you if you could somehow magically do that. You could even maybe send millions of tons of medical supplies if you had them. What you cannot do is magically create thousands and thousands of doctors, nurses, and medical technicians out of thin air. China already moved as many medical professionals as they could spare into Wuhan two weeks ago. They, in all likelihood, they have no reserves left to send there. Even if they did, how could they? The disease has now taken hold in the rest of the country, so that there are now five provinces, in addition to Wuhan, approaching the thousand active cases mark. They, I mean, they're basically they're trying to prevent Wuhan from happening in other places. They can't strip doctors and nurses from the rest of the country, which has now five potential、uh, Hubei province-scale outbreaks to throw into the black hole that Wuhan is slowly becoming. This is the reality of the so-called Fangkang hospitals. They're basically collection points. They're warehouses. If you're confirmed to have corona, but you're not on the verge of incapacity. You can go there to ride out the disease, hopefully spare your family、uh, from getting infected. Because if you stay home, the odds are you're going to infect your whole family. You'll get no treatment beyond a bed to lie in and basic nutrition. If after a week,、uh, several weeks go by, I mean this this thing people don't realize it takes a long time to treat a respiratory illness. If after those few weeks you're not dead, maybe they let you go. Who knows at this point? I doubt anyone in China knows what the end game is for the people in the Fangkang hospitals. Look, as this video is being taken and, and posted by an old Chinese woman inside one of these Fangkang hospitals, look at her where she's basically calling for help for someone to get her out of there. 姐妹们，早上好。这是昨天晚上十二点钟，然后我转到这个地方来，什么下下什么方？
方正、方太还是什么部队，所谓部队的那个医院，里面又没有厕所，又没有药池，又没有开水，上厕所还要在外面两百多米以外，外面下着大雨，本来指望医进了医院好了的，这还搞拐了，全都是这种病人。他们的还要感染，这是什么方太方子方太部队所以的那个医院，这么多人，这怎么看呢、啊？这互相感染还吓人些，又没药吃，又没针打，全都是这样子的人，有的甚至比我还重一点。到处都是的，的又没隔离，就这一个板子，而且那边都是人，这都是的。一在红山宾馆里面就这么捅扑，又没隔离，又没厕所。开水还要走到那个地方去打，<咳>救救我！向社会上反映一下，姐妹们。Remember what the man outside the hospital said. We they have no medical equipment, no medical supplies. There's no medical treatment. They're warehouses. You go in, you can't get out. You lie there next to a couple thousand or so other people that are in the same boat as you. One supposes for the next several weeks, and、uh, you see if you're one of the lucky ones to make it out or not. When, when, and if this is over. So that woman in the video, she's more or less confirming from inside one of the Fang Kang hospitals, you know what that Fang Kang hospital director was telling people outside. It's not a hospital. I'm sure that. You know, most of you by this point in the video, you see what that man was saying、uh, out front, and、uh, you know, upon hearing the woman's plea for help、uh, inside one of the Fang Kang hospitals, you, you might think, "Hey, that that that's cool." And you all know that I'm the first one to bash the communist Chinese state here. I mean, I, who's a bigger uh, China, uh, uh, you know, Chai Kong basher than me? But at this point, I'm not even sure that I can do that here, because quite frankly. I don't see what else China can do. Hubei Province, it looks to me. I don't want to say it's been abandoned, but it's being cut off in the hope of saving the rest of the country. The disease is just too far gone for them to do anything about it, and I think whether by deliberate decision or just the reality overtaking the the best intended plans of the、uh, men and women in charge, they're just going to let Wuhan, you know, Hubei Province go. Wuhan is going to basically take one for the team, and I'm not the only one saying this. That's the headline up on Bloomberg today. China sacrifices a province to save the world from coronavirus. Now, for days, I've been putting out videos accusing China of hiding the true numbers of how many cases of coronavirus there are and how many people have actually died from it. As of this video today, I think that situation has now evolved. You still can't trust the numbers that China is giving, because now, in addition to the usual China lying that we've seen up until now, it's just beyond their ability to keep track of in Hubei, in Hubei Province. I mean, look, look at yesterday when the dam broke and people were shocked and stunned when they see China cop to, you know, three thousand new confirmed cases of coronavirus and over seventy new dead in just one day. I suspect that number to be accurate, as far as China could tell. I really think there's just too many people sick to test, and there's just too many dead to even document anymore. Yo, 两个、三个、四个，恐怕四个人，然后他就五个，我说了一个拖五个
，好，还是有人门多人呢，史提罗斯的，看到吗？五个尸体。看到吗？搞的完全就妈的，就喊了呢。看到吗？五个尸体。Right now, they get a corpse. They don't want to keep it around. They let alone run tests on it to determine the exact cause of death. Just put it in a bag, throw it in a van, and get it to the crematorium as fast as they can manage the task. Look, let's let's look at this、uh, just with basic math. The death rate in China for you know a A、little over a decade has been a shade over 0.7 percent. That means in a city like Wuhan, and just to keep the math very simple, we'll say that Wuhan has 10 million residents. A natural death rate of 0.7 percent means that a a population of 10 million will lose 70,000 people to death in a given year. 70,000 deaths divided by 365 days in a year. Means an average day Wuhan loses about 190 people due to natural causes. In China of the year 2020, almost all people who die in the cities, especially, are cremated. China passed reforms in recent years that、uh, make cremation mandatory in some places. Burial in the ground still occurs, but it's usually the rich or people who live in rural areas who can、uh, practice that. It's something of a luxury now. In fact, researching this. I found that as a result, there is now even a black market in China for stolen corpses, so that families in areas with、uh, mandatory cremation they can provide the stolen corpse to officials,、uh, so to cremate, then secretly bury their loved ones、uh, somewhere on the down low. Now, as far as I could tell from available sources, Wuhan has seven crematoriums that, under normal conditions, operate only four hours a day, typically from noon to 4 p.m. To handle the daily number of deceased, so if we round the numbers a bit, to, just to keep the math simple for for this purpose, say 200 people a day are burned in Wuhan by those seven crematoriums in just four hours. We now have reports that the cremations are going on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, at a rate of 200 corpses in four hours, that amounts to 1,200 corpses being cremated every day. Now, minus the 200 who die of natural causes daily. To stuff like heart disease, cancer, car accidents, and stuff like that, that would mean an extra 1,000 deaths would be about what you expect out of those extra 20 hours a day that the ovens are being run. Now, of course, I can't claim those numbers are accurate. They're based on the、uh, cremations going on with the same speed and efficiency as they do under normal times. Fine. Let's say it takes them a lot longer due to the difficulty in going around and collecting all these cor extra corpses. Uh, handling them carefully by,、uh, you know, because they have to get、uh, get into biohazard suits. They got to wear masks and gloves, the full protection suite. So yeah, you'd expect a slowdown、uh, in, in efficiency. So let's be ultra conservative and say they're only operating at one third their normal efficiency and speed. That would still be more than three hundred extra corpses a day, even at that reduced estimate. That's like twenty two thousand one hundred coronavirus corpses extra a week. Math is brutal, people. When they tell you that cremations are going on around the clock, that's the staggering arithmetic of it. The bottom line is, whether you like my back of the envelope estimate、uh, method or not, if you're running those ovens 24/7, you're burning a hell of a lot of bodies on a daily basis. If on a normal day it only takes them four hours to burn 200 corpses across seven facilities, so what further signs do we have that Hubei province is just being let go? Now I'm sure a lot of you have seen、uh, videos like this of people literally being boarded up inside their own homes. <laughs>
都过时，出来，是要要命要紧，听到吧？啊，都不要出来啊！好，好、啊。Okay, so I'm sure some of you have seen those kind of videos before, but have you seen entire apartment complexes? Having their doors sealed with electric arc welding. Oh, 看看啊，这是我们家，站在楼上拍的啊。一百三十一号楼，你看阿拉村一百三十一号。你看看啊，这些人是来小度的，还不知道是来。上天就来过一次了，今天又来了。看这样是小度的。哎，那个是门吗？才敢的门哦，把门封了，把门封的了。你看那个电焊，那个电焊工在那块焊的，那个那中间是一个门，你看。说是跟南湖人聚会的，四个人聚会的，南湖两个，这一个，上天就来过给隔离了，然后这肯定是人妈的冠状病了。以前是一次，现在是确诊人肯定是，然后你看来给封了，要是一次的话，他可能不可能封的。你看，全是穿黄乎乎的。你看来消毒的。你看这个病毒，要命！你看那个人开电焊，你看把把那个大门封起来了，一共都有三个楼梯，中间那个。Guys, I haven't seen people sealing doors with electric arc welding since the last time I watched the movie Aliens. Then you see, uh, you know, video of this military-run quarantine camp in、uh, Ningbo, and you can't help but notice they dug a moat around the place and filled it with water. The moat is to prevent escape. It's not a latrine, as someone、uh, speculated when the, when、uh, this video first emerged. The moat surrounds the facility. You don't surround a camp with a latrine. It defeats the purpose of sanitation. You know, we've gone past the point now of telling each other jokes like "Hey, bro, it's just a cold," or、uh, platitudes from blue check marks on Twitter. You know that the flu is worse than the coronavirus. This is really. You know, only applying to Hubei Province and the city of Wuhan right now, and hope that's where it stays. But I think it's critical that the medical infrastructure—it's overrun, and the Chinese know it. In a few days, if not even earlier, I think the world's going to figure out that Wuhan is just past the point of no return, and that no medical intervention that any country in the world is capable of is going to be able to prevent it from suffering the worst of this plague. It appears that China's strategy now is to. Hopefully, with these draconian measures, contain this to Hubei Province, so that the rest of the country, even if, even if a lot of people get sick, that it doesn't get as bad as it has、uh, in Wuhan, where you know the hospitals are just overrun. They're welding the doors shut in apartment complexes. You know, every, they, they don't want that everywhere in the country. Now, maybe I'm wrong, and I don't know what I'm talking about. But what I see in the limited video、uh, and the reports coming out of Wuhan. It、appears to show a situation out of control. That's all for this new on realist. If you want to help the channel, do me a favor: hit like for this video. Best, best yet, share it.、Uh, leave a comment below. Mash down on the subscribe button if you're not not already sub to the channel, and click on that notification bell beside it. You got to put it on the all setting if you want to keep up with newer content. If you want to contribute directly to the channel, you want to toss your hard-earned dollars and want you want into the tip jar. Follow the links below to Patreon, Subscribe Star, or PayPal. But if you watch this on BitChute, you can just click on the green tip pledge button on the video player. Thanks for watching.